Yo, what's up? Name is Gently01, and welcome back. Thank you for coming back. Your torture is over. We're killing a Metal Gear. <laughs> oh, yeah, welcome back to more Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. I don't think I said that. So, yes, Metal Gear Ray modified. First boss of the game. Basic strategy, just run up, stab him in the foot, and then you get to do this. Slow motion blade mode. I talked about it, but we don't have it unlocked to use normally, but right here we get to do whatever we want with it. So just slash, 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 slash. And blade mode is probably the coolest feature in the game. Besides just how stylish all the attacks are, basically. So, when we unlock the ability to use blade mode when we want, it gets awesome. But for right now, we have to wait and only use it in pre-scripted events. So, yes. Metal Gear Ray modified. He's taller, he's bit. He's taller, he's bigger, he's stronger. He's got a whole lot more weapons. He's got guns mounted on the side of him. He's got a laser cannon. He fires missiles. All the good stuff. But what you still have to do, like with back in Metal Gear 2, just hit him in the legs. Except for this time, you just cut his feet out from under him. Although one annoying thing about this battle is that it's kind of like there is a lock-on system in this game, but if you use it on Ray at least... He's going to sit there and be locked on on his face, not his leg. So it gets kind of annoying. And then, to continue what I was saying about blade mode, we don't have control over it yet, but there's two ways to do it. You can either rotate the right, or not rotate the right stick, just flick right stick, and that will... Let's see, I already destroyed that one, so I need to go for the right one. Or no? Ah, yeah. If you flick right stick while in blade mode, though, you will cut in the direction you flick. Otherwise, you can just hit X and Y to attack horizontally and vertically. I mostly just button spam X and Y because that works really well but some of the bosses are going to require you to do precise cuts and that means you've got to use right stick. So enough about that. Ray, he stomps on us, he's got missiles and he's got a laser beam. Okay. Getting close to having him beaten. Is... where? I already, I already destroyed that one, didn't I? I went for the wrong leg. I had a feeling I went for the wrong leg. That one still has its gun, doesn't it? Did I get the... I don't even... Okay, yes. So this will finish it. So there goes the last of your health, buddy. I'll see you in the scrapyard. Never mind, you survived with .01 HP because they want you to do this. Just sprint up at him. Watch this. Oh, yes. And they just timed the audio mix. They went and put in variable mix to change up the music just so they could have the rock music lyrics come in right when they want it to. And right now is when you want it to. Because hype, hype, hype. I just had to let the game speak for itself right there. No damage, S rank, bingo. When I was practicing this, I got utterly wrecked. Let's see, can I do that now? There is an achievement you can get if you cut off his tail. I think it's in the battle, though. So I don't get it. Aw. Oh well. It's pretty cool, though. I never went and looked back here, but you can actually just go examine the entire corpse of the giant robot you just slayed. That's attention to detail, but look right here. Cool. Desperado in force. That's all I can see is just Desperado in force. I can't read anything else. This isn't PC, so I can't get super high quality textures where we can freaking read road maps. But yeah, Desperado. So that's who we're up against is Desperado Enforcement. So let's go find the guys from Desperado Enforcement. Stab them in the face! Because I'm not very happy with them right now. There he is. So here's where it's going to teach you about your movement abilities. You have the ninja run, which will let you just automatically cross absolutely everything pretty much. That doesn't require a full-on jump. And I know it says dash attack and slide. Those are just attacks. You don't actually need to do them to get anywhere. Ninja run will automatically... Where does this go? I think... Oh, okay. So in the game here, 
there are uh, VR missions that you can unlock that are like bonus challenges, and that room has the first one you can get. What's down here? Is there something down here? No. That's just if you fail. Can we cut the door? No. I didn't get all of the VR missions in my run, so I'm actually looking. If I find any new ones here, I'm totally getting them. Because the missions are a lot of fun. And wow. He's missing an arm. His feet barely work. And he's sitting there still fighting me. Okay. Okay. So. Metal Gear Ray Modified Version 2. And I think that's pretty big cheating right there. Ow. Can you block that? I don't know if you can block that. So there's an achievement you get if you survive the first fight and this fight getting no damage. I don't know if that gun turret counts though. That would be so totally unfair if the gun turret counted. Use blade mode to take down those heavy missiles. Yep. So here you can use uh, directional blade mode to try to cut them. I missed one. This is the part where it falls apart. I can do the first part of this battle a-okay every time except for the time I was practicing right before this but this one I just can't get it so that was awesome we tear his face armor off and then just kick him and I'm I could have blocked that I bet I'm really bad about blocking like I usually block on accident because they can sit there and attack you while you're attacking them most of the enemies can Ow. That's kind of cheating. Stop that. He's wombo comboing me. Now, let me see here. Okay. I've completely forgotten my button. Um. Uh oh, uh oh. This is bad. I don't actually know what happens if you die here. It's pr I'm pretty sure it's just a normal game over, but what I was trying to do is trying to bring up the item menu because you can get these things called nano pastes and they will heal you as long as you have them as your choice item. So you hit zero and you just pop right back up to 100. And I could probably use that right now considering how well I'm doing. I'm Just look at that, I'm doing amazing. Well, at least this is about to make up for it. Because watch this. I'm going to let the game speak for itself. Yeah. And now you're missing both arms, punk. What now? That now, apparently. We have been eaten! Watch this. You thought that running on missiles was hype. Check this. Checkpoint. No, this isn't Bayonetta. But it sure does feel like it. I want to say something, but I can't even think of anything that would accurately portray the awesomeness that just went down. Well, at least now I have something to say. Look at that bastard run. But you have been caught, sir. You are surrounded. Surrender now. You have no chance to survive. Make your time. Well, looks like the 310 to Yuma saved him. The hell? He jumped. What's so weird about that? And Raiden's about to outclass him. Well, sir, you can super jump. He can high-speed slide around corners and then do this. Hey, look, there's a building. Let's run on the side of it. Because you know what? Apparently he got himself an upgrade chip that just said the gravity has been disabled. Just gravity is no longer in application. 
But with gravity no longer being an application, we're going to have to end the episode off, y'all. It's been long enough. You got to see Ray. Ray got destroyed. Ray was awesome. But next time we're going to be running up the 310 to Yuma to try to catch up with the guy in the president. So see you then.